You're watching News 4 at 5. Welcome back. The rebuilding process on 2nd Avenue has barely begun tonight. It's still fenced off with only construction crews allowed in. News 4's Carly Gordon takes us into the red zone to show us what's happening to the building since the blast and what's next. A tattered ribbon dangles from last year's Christmas decorations. A sad reminder of the explosion that rattled wreaths and shattered bricks dating back to the 1800s. Well, you see total destruction from the face because immediately the face of the buildings, the historic elements that everybody knows, was evaporated. It was disintegrated in, you know, just a matter of seconds. Dave Johnston is the architect tasked with reconstructing the four buildings directly in front of the blast. And right now they are still very unsafe. And months later, they're still working to figure out what can and can't be preserved. So literally brick by brick, those have been taken down, stored off site in a couple of different spots so that we can reuse those. And that has literally taken from March till about June. The Planning and Historic Zoning Commission's recently signed off on demolition. Their directive, to salvage the history between the cracks and crannies. This month, Metro Council approved 20 million to fund outdoor dining, wider sidewalks, public art, and food kiosks. The plan is to have an opening between second and the riverfront, showcasing a stunning new view of Nissan Stadium, and a feel that's uniquely Nashville. To see that change is, is really going to be neat. It won't happen soon. Johnston predicts a completion date of two years from now. But already, if you can look beyond the destruction of the Christmas gone by, you'll see signs of renewal and regrowth. It was a horrible event, no question about that. But I think to see how Nashville came together, and how the city has worked with the private owners, is really a, a story that needs to be told, that the city does work with landowners and property owners to make this into a better Nashville. Carly Gordon, News 4 Nashville.